considerable relief. Growing numbers of endangered Houston toads appear to be emerging from hiding spots to feed and breed in the Bastrop County Wildfire Recovery Zone. So federal authorities are stepping up efforts to make sure the recovery work does not kill the toads that did survive. New at 6, our Jim Swift tells us that although that will slow the removal of burned trees in some parts of the zone, experts are predicting the work will eventually lead to a bumper crop of recycled wood products. At the Austin Wood Recycling Yard, just south of the Austin Airport, piles of stuff are the order of the day. But even by that standard, there is one particular pile that stands out or up. We've probably got around 130,000 yards in, in this pile. How much would that weigh? One yard is about four or 500 pounds. A quick mental calculation as we take a gator ride to the top results in a total pile mass of something on the order of six million pounds of coarse mulch. The product of ground up trees from the Bastrop wildfire zone mixed with grindings from road projects and construction jobs throughout Central Texas. As workers build the mound, they compact the material tightly, but because of its sponginess, it shakes the ground violently beneath your boots. It's a great business. It's fun. You get big piles of mulch, you get big equipment with a lot of horsepower, it makes a lot of noise. Whatever its source, the mulch here is left to cook for up to a year, and then run through another grinder that reduces the product to the proper size to be used by consumers from hither to yon. Man, that's gonna be a lot of mulch. Yeah, and I don't think, and I don't think it should just be mulch. For Blue Bonnet Electric Co-op General Manager Mark Rose, the September fires put clearing burned trees from power line right of way at the top of the proverbial to-do list. Now we're beginning to see some folks talking about actually turning this into wood uh, for reuse, and we're gonna do everything we can do to help those folks make that happen. So at a nearby grinding site, incoming trees are sorted, and bigger logs are salvaged for free lumber for anyone with a good use for it. According to a co-op spokesperson, this stack, for example, is bound for the Schlitterbahn Amusement Park Company. What we can't do, unless we just have to, is have any of this go to a landfill. Much of the work will be delayed until the area's endangered Houston toads breeding season ends. Meanwhile, though, there is still plenty of mulch to bag. Jim Swift, KXAN News.